Mm, well, I'm Pedro Cavallero here, and uh, we we are going to talk about a little about the chat chat GPT. There's something really new we 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 see this week, and I say, oh man, this is something really interesting. And we have tried something about it, and say, okay, let's let's talk a little about it, and say, well, what is it, and what what we have done so far. Hey, and, and we have two guest friends here and have Ismaias. Hey, Ismaias, how are you, man? Hi, guys. I'm good. I'm here to learn a lot. I'm so glad to be here. And that's it. Thank you, Ismaias. And Douglas. Hey, Douglas, how are you? Doing, doing great. Hey, everyone. Great to be here. Fantastic. So I think uh, uh, we have this really cool topic about chat GPT. Uh, can we have, uh, oh, what is chat GPT about uh, Douglas? Can you, can you explain a little about it to us? Yeah, yeah. So, so basically there is this organization called OpenAI and they work on a lot of artificial intelligence projects. In fact, you may have actually heard of them in the past. Uh, they created the Doll E2 uh, mm -hmm. project, which basically lets you sit and in natural English describe a scene, and mm -hmm. it will draw it for you uh, eerily well. Like you could you could make some pretty interesting artwork just by by describing in in English what you want it to draw in natural language, and it will it will draw the pictures for you. Well, now in the past week, I believe this has been this this past week. Uh, they dropped in another project that they've got open for free right now where you can do, um, uh, where it's called chat GPT. So it uses their, their GPT model. Uh, it, it's huge. There's a lot of different data points it's got in this, in this model. And it knows a lot from some of the experiments that, that I have been running, um, you know, we we kind of in this audience and in this circle, we we concentrate a lot on code, and so mm -hmm. the experiments I've been running have been trying to see: uh, can I describe like a program that I would like to write? Can it give me advice on on mm -hmm. architectural patterns? Can it give me uh, code examples of how I might implement some of those? Can I ask for weird things that? Mm -hmm. um, you know, and it might just be able to go write, uh, write code for me that, that you know give me Whoa. examples. Yeah. So there's a lot of a lot of debate going on right now. Uh, there's some people out there on Twitter that are, you know, hey, developer jobs are going to go away because of this. You know, but I also have my opinions on on that too. Um, uh -huh. But we can we can go deeper into each one of those. But that's kind of an overview of. Of, uh -huh. of my past 24 hours because I found out about this 24 hours ago that, that it existed and I've been I've uh -huh. been poking around trying to figure out what this uh, what this new AI can do. It's pretty yeah, amazing. Uh, pretty amazing. I tried this yesterday as well. Like uh, I tried to run write some. I was not trying art code. Oh, I'm not trying to ask for write code. But when you try like. Uh, asking for art articles and uh, it creates really pretty decent articles if uh, if anything talk uh, anything about it like uh, i i asked it, i asked it to create oh uh create an article about how word cup uh, how word cup can uh, help you to be a better developer and man it's it's hard to create something about the word cup and and the teamwork and the motivation and <laughs> whatever right yeah. and it, it's in a small article thing like this so it's pretty, pretty pretty decent pretty amazing i tried say oh uh <laughs> write a movie script <laughs> to create uh, a story about a software developer who who saved his marriage by using his Java programming skills. <laughs> but that was pretty epic. <laughs> and it was really cool because it says, "Oh, uh, it, it starts with, like with his wife complaining he's working too hot, too much, and blah blah blah." And wow. then he starts, uh, he starts uh, 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 making. Uh, uh, how can I say? Uh, so, so, uh, uh, 
asking his wife to 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 learn Java with him, and then they start to a project together. <laughs> I say, oh God, this is, oh, how crazy is that, right? Yeah. And they say, but but the text is like, is, uh, of course, it's crazy. So what idea? But the idea is pretty consistent. So you have you see the the text written in a cons really consistent way. Uh, I say it should could be a a, 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 a real story, you know, and you can you can it could be you can create. Yeah. So it's I think I thought it, I thought I thought it's amazing. And I tried many things here, right? I, I can let, let, let us. Do it. Let's say we could share. Yeah. We could share screens and and uh, yeah. kind of compare compare notes on uh, on this. For if sure. you you know if you want to if you want to share your screen or I can share mine. We can. Uh, uh huh. I can I can share here as well. Let me share okay. here. I I don't know if do are you able to share here? I don't. I should be able to. Let me see. Uh oh well guess what I don't I haven't given it permission to uh yeah. uh to, to share the screen but yeah and oh the, it's and the, I, it, it, let me let me I, see here I might be able to do it let me try with this yeah it's then, it's not able to because I don't have uh I never gave Chrome permission to share my screen and once I do I have to quit and come ah back. so okay it's it's a Chrome permission for sure no no problem I will share mine here. All right. Yeah, we can we can see your screen now. The crazy part here, and I want to I want to tell people about this real quick is that this is a conversation that you're having with this AI. So it remembers everything that you have said in the past too. So one of the things that mm -hmm. that I do have preferences, right? So it, you could ask it to mm -hmm. write you um, to to write some code in you know whatever language that you. Uh, uh, yeah, write a Python. Let's see. Let's give. Let's let's just try something here. Okay. Um, to connect to. Uh, uh, what? Let's do. Let's do. Um. Um. What's the. What's the. What's the weather. Uh, what's the weather API that people always use for things? I think mm -hmm. it's open. Open weather map. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. Just type in. W e a t h e r. Yeah, weather API, and get the today's weather. In in whatever like like maybe in Brazil. Try that. In Brazil. Well, I know Brazil's pretty large too, so you might wanna you might wanna narrow that down a bit, yeah. but. No problem. Sure enough, oh, God. it's it's actually doing this in real time. And it's going to tell you about the example too. Now, yeah. I want you to scroll up and notice something though. Well, this one it doesn't like have can you do it, the weather API together. Eh? Then by the yeah. open weather data, it's already. Uh, I didn't say that they want the open weather data. So it's the most common yes. one that people use. So that it probably just went and said, "Oh, I'll, I'll give you this one," because you didn't specify which one, and it's free. Like you can get a key for free from there and all that stuff. And so that's the code, man. Uh, and the cool thing is, <laughs> was this in what language did you? Oh, you asked it to write it in Python. Ask it to write it in in, uh, in Java now. Just say write. Now this is a cool thing. This is where it remembers. Write, write it in. Oh, in no, no, you don't have to repeat everything. Just go down in the chat field and tell it write it in Java now. Write it in Java now. <laughs> How crazy. I will lost my job. <laughs> no, you have it. No, you have it. Now, this is the important thing. This is the important thing. We knew what we wanted it to do. And I can tell you that that's correct. You know, I can tell if that code is correct or not, but mm -hmm. the, um, uh, the main thing, uh, also, if you, if we really want to play around with this, tell it to write it, write it in, uh, in C sharp now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Or you write can do something it. even crazier. Oh, yeah. It, it, yeah, Rust. Or yeah, write it in Rust. That works. 
Or go, yeah. Try that one. Go language. Uh. So one thing is, is that I'm extremely interested in learning and teaching, right? And I think that this tool, being able to take maybe a piece of code that you understand from a language that you understand and have it write uh -huh. that code in a different language is, is extremely important. Like it, it really will help. It's almost uh -huh. like having a Rosetta stone that will, you know, that you can actually see what you understand in mm -hmm. other languages and it, sure. it's writing this stuff. Now there's a caveat here. It's data set ends in 2021. So if it's using a library that has had a major shift since uh, since 2021, you um, it might not understand. You know, it might it yeah. might give you an example. Well, it might give you an example that's written in code that you would write back in 2021. But uh -huh. uh, you know, I, I, I've got I, I have an I, example of that. Uh, I, I I asked it yesterday. I asked it to say, uh, like this: write the uh, new features, the new features of J Java 17 uh, from Java 11. Well, we know, all know Java is in Java 19 now, right? Right. But they say, yeah. Uh, yeah, see, it's giving you the, the, it's giving you the, the dates there, right? And so it tells say, you that, uh, that you know, as of March, March, 2021, this was released. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. um, uh, one other thing. But interesting. That... That's yesterday. It says the latest stable Java is Java 14. Now it's saying the latest stable version of Java 16. <laughs> interesting. I, I didn't, uh, I, I, I can show you. <laughs> no, that's but cool, not, man. Not, no, I, I, yeah. It's interesting to see. I don't know what's happening here, but. It looks it's, like again, look as it's evolving. Yeah. Yeah, you could always hit try again and it might give you a different response. So that's a the, there's the try again button right there. And if you hit it right there in the up go up the, right there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it looks like it's it's pretty uh it looks another thing, right? Yeah, that was a oh, no, uh, scroll back it, down. It creates it creates again. Uh, There's uh, see where it says that number two of two. If you click the uh, left sure. arrow, there you go. You can see your original response, and you can see the next response that it gave you. So, uh -huh. you know, it, it it said something different the next time, and you may actually like the what it said the second time. So that's another feature uh -huh. is that you can actually tell it you can get, tell it to try again, and it will give you back a different uh, a different response. Now, here's something. Could you imagine if this was behind an API, which is where they're going, right? This will be behind, uh, they will put an API together. You'll have to pay money for it when it's in an API. But, you know, they'll put a web API in front of this AI and we can actually yeah. make programs that, that you know, what, what my thought is, is that, that I'm going to make a program. Um, I might be able to actually write the program that helps people learn to code. Mm-hmm with this, like a oh, program sure. that could use this AI behind it. And, you know, I have this idea of a progression and the AI might even be able to tell them why their code wouldn't compile, not just some cryptic, hey, I found this comma where I shouldn't have, but really where they made the mistake is, mm -hmm. is what I'm thinking that this would, this, this um, language model might be able mm -hmm. to, to do. So, no, there's there's a lot of is, really... it, is it possible to 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 ask it? Oh, explain this code for me. Yes, ask it to. Ask it to explain one of the points. Uh, oh, for sure, right? Uh... Oh no, no, you had did you have a specific uh, chunk like a specific piece right. of code you wanted it to explain? Example, yeah, like the like, like, as as we have like this. So, oh, explain this this code for me. Like I, I have this code and I send them, I say, oh, yeah. explain that. Explain this. Yeah, it, it, it should be able to do that. Oh, now, I've nice. seen I, I've I've seen people tell me that, that you know, like they've tried to put regular expressions in there for it to explain. And some people are like, it really does that well. And other people were like, hey, that explanation is entirely wrong. Yeah, send it in. 
That'd be cool. Yeah, it's, Yeah. <laughs> now, uh, ask it, thing, ask, like the current weather in Sao Paulo, but it's cloudy. <laughs> ask it, ask it if, um, uh, ask it if there are any potential bugs in that code. Mm -hmm. Is there? Now it's telling you everything you might want to go do to harden that code. And let's see. The API is very string, which is not a valid API key. Okay. The CD are variables. Input. Set the hard coded strings. If you want to get a variable for this special case, you need to update these variables. Oh, okay. Then it's this one's JSON. Blah, blah. But it doesn't handle any. It's telling you you're not error handling. So. Yeah, it's not saying, oh, create an error handler. It's saying, oh, this is something you need to be aware of. Like, Okay, okay, but watch this. Could you ask it to elaborate on point three? Or ask it to give you a code example of point three. Oh. After that, can you ask it to run a test? That's good. Look at this. How could, could modify the potential error and the exception that could occur in response to JSON? Let's see. There you go. Oh, here you go, man. <laughs> there you go. My dude. Oh, nice, man. It did it like a try, accept, and take a valor error. Oh, if the weather is not weather data, now it's try to get some errors before to executing. <laughs> now you want to really, you want to really like, like have have some fun here. Ask it oh to convert God. to convert that code example into uh, into JavaScript and use fetch. Oh, uh, convert this code. Uh, to uh, Java, to JavaScript, using fetch. fetch. <laughs> oh God! It has its catch in there too. Yeah, it's catching the errors. Even use the fetch, right? Not catching any error here. Man, how fantastic is that, man? Yeah, and look, it used Incredible. template. It used template strings for uh, uh, template uh -huh. string literals. Yeah. Using this, man. This this has blown my mind. Can, can you ask, can you ask it to to run a, a unit test for this? Write unit mm. tests. Uh, mm. Oh yeah. Okay. So so we have to do two things. I think. Um, mm. Can uh, ask it to put the the code from the past example into a function. Mm. In a function. Put the code. So we can test it, right? Right now it's just sitting out there in, in the global function. space. We have to put it, we have to package it up so we can test it. Yeah, let's try that. Oh, and I can just and create a unit test for that. And create unit tests. For this function. Let's see. Ha! <laughs> I'm not kidding. You're kidding me, man. Uh, I think should take CD, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so sometimes okay. the response is too hey. long. Just ask it to continue. 
because it hasn't written the test yet. It's in the middle. Yeah. Just say continue, please. <laughs> you don't have to be so polite. I'm just polite. <laughs> that's, 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 <laughs> oh man, you know, right? When this when this AI take over the world, the world, we can say, "Oh no, this guy was polite with me." <laughs> yeah, we found his logs, and and he he was polite to us. He treated us well. We will we will uh, not kill him. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> there's your there's your unit tests. So we had the code example and a set of unit tests. Expected result, which one? That's good. Where are the expected results coming from? Yeah, I see. Looks like it's. Uh, ask it. Ask it to write the expected results. Uh, Unless saying. it's already done that. It's the expected. Test case expect result. Yeah. Test. I've been trying to find the limitations. I have found a couple of, of uh, limitations, but we may we may get to see one right now. Uh, blah blah blah. If this is then compared, blah blah. And then example of how the expect result code is used. It. Oh, there's your expected results. Yeah. Oh, cloudy, yeah. cloudy, cloudy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now I still think I still think that there may be cloudy some like, rainy here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh god. Well sure, but yeah, but it's it's really, really trying, y'all. It's it's really trying. I mean, you, you you know, the thing is is that you might have to, you know, tell it, "Hey, mock out the uh mock out the weather API," you know, but the like I said, I don't this is where I come into my next opinion, which is mm -hmm. that we'll be able to write code a lot faster. And this is there's a couple of there's a couple of caveats here that that I want to uh talk about. One, mm -hmm. you need to understand what it's doing. You need to understand that code before you use it as any code that you ever pull in to your project don't just trust it like it you know it may not be exactly to your needs and you might have to modify that code um mm -hmm. i used to have a junior developer that i worked with um 10 years or no maybe 15 years ago and he would just mm -hmm. copy code from the internet and say Douglas, it's not working. And I'm like, did you modify? You have to modify that code to uh, actually, it's an example of how you can do something, but you have to make it fit in your example, like in your code. And, and you know, so you still have to do the same thing. Mm -hmm. But the, uh, the thing is, is that I don't think that in the immediate term that open API, uh, you know, is going to take jobs away from, from developers. I think they're going to make developers way more efficient. Yeah, more productive, right? I, I can think through how to solve problems and get code generated for me when I like, hey, I want to try this instead. And and it can write the code for me. And I can look at the code and understand that that code is good. Um, but there's mm -hmm. still the one piece about AI that's missing, which is full sentience, right? The sure. the the need for writing the code, the need for writing or, or helping out other people solve a problem is, is mm -hmm. the thing. Like we have to tell it what to do in order to get mm -hmm. it to go to the next step. Right. We, uh -huh. he, you know, Hey, try this now, try yeah. that now. It didn't automatically <laughs> give us the, the error handling code. Right. That's. Mm -hmm. the, the, the creativity. We, 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 we need to know that we need to know that we needed it. Right, we need to tell and oh, please uh, write this with with uh, test with error uh, handling or oh, write the, the unit test, uh, because we are understanding what 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 he is doing, what it's doing, right? So that yeah. that's uh, uh, this is I think this is all the point. We we uh, uh, we can be more productive in all steps in our work now. Like oh, can create the first the first glimpse of the code. Or try to oh create this first example of a test so that I can continue in my in my current code here, 
or as you said, as a learning, a learning, learning uh, uh, tool, because we can can use it to help your junior developers. You can use it to help uh, to 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 give give a class giving classes. Uh, I think it's as a tool is a fantastic thing. We can just yeah. If if we know, if you uh, know how to use it correctly, right? Yeah, and I have a feeling that when this gets put, like when this gets productionized, right now it's a free research preview. Like it says that in the small text at the bottom. But when this mm -hmm. gets into production and we're, you know, people can write applications on top of this, um, we're going to have we're going to have a lot of power to be able to write applications that that can that can you know, show people how to do things that can, you know, it, again, like I said, I, this could be the back end that I've been looking for, for an application that, you know, for, for a concept that I've had for like 10 years. Hmm. And uh, I think that, that I, I now have the wherewithal to try to, um, to, to use something like this. Now there hmm. is another side to this. There, um, there is a uh, there's another part of it where they do actually have some of their models sitting behind an a uh, sitting behind an API already, um, and I, I had a chance to play with that. I could I could write code uh, against okay. it. In fact, you can you can ask it how do I how do I embed uh, uh, Open AI into into my program. AI. I've been doing that too. I every time every time I type, yeah. <laughs> every time I type open AI, I put a P in there because I've just the, 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 times I just times in my life. The, yeah, the, the, the muscle memory is <laughs> doing yeah. it. Yeah. Um, I don't like. Yeah. Now I will tell you from my experience, this code example is a little behind the the uh, the time. Uh, I think I think it is because I th uh, I tried to to use that code directly, uh, but. Is there a difference here? Yeah, there's a yeah. I see that. I see that. But that's it, man. <laughs> you do that, and and it's really close. Like that's that's really close. Um, but you have to get a, a key, and they give you like eighteen dollars for free to play with. And I think it's like something like two cents per thousand tokens, and an, a token is like four characters. Is what I think that they uh, essentially yeah. I got them to say that, that a token is four characters, so it can four cost characters. money. But that's wow. but this is how you remember you know how we're seeing all these all these things where it's like get all your copy written by AI. You know, there, there's these apps everywhere now that are saying you know. Um, in fact, I, I, you know, I think that that you know people in this group have shown us uh, tools that that this marketing tools that could use. Um, mm -hmm. that could use AI to write your copy. Well, mm -hmm. guess where it's coming from? They're using open, mm -hmm. open AI. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they're, they're, they're using they, that. There are no, as I said, it's like a backend server for many different things, right? Yeah, yeah. It's it's really cool. So I think really where this chat screen comes into play is that this is the conversation side of things where it gets a little bit more complicated when you're trying to use the, the API to talk to the AI, uh, you know, to do fine tune adjustments and stuff like that. It's not a conversation, you know, it's an API. It's going to be, you know, uh, I, I don't think you're going to have a contextual conversation with it. Like you can with, with this. With this one here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is, this is amazing. <laughs> like, <laughs> 
it's yeah, it, amazing. Yeah, it's mind blowing. Mind blowing. <laughs> yeah, I I I've seen uh, I've worked with like this chatbots on uh, that Google chatbot. You know, uh, uh, I don't recall the name. When we, uh, uh, and we we could create like this this idea of oh. Uh, uh, you know what what I asked before, and then I can say, "Oh, please continue," and then it continues what it's doing before. Mm -hmm. But uh, but everything we need we, we to create that we need to do many things manually, so it's not a, uh, it's not a, something real. It's not it was not understanding what we're writing. It's just uh, blocks of code you put together, and this is really another thing <laughs> now and it also knows way more you can ask this you can ask the uh uh ai questions about uh quantum mechanics you can go into any field of science that you may mm -hmm. have a, a a good idea about um it's it's knowledge is not just code right we of sure. course i can ask it questions i happen to maybe know the answers to the questions i'm asking and i can look at it and go it just knew that Wow, it made that on the fly, um, and and it was correct. So that's that's the interesting mm -hmm. thing is, is mm -hmm. that, yeah. But it, it, you know, my my wife was asking it about different soaps and what they're good for, you know, different cleaning materials and how to clean something. What's the best way to use it? And it was, it was giving her responses on mm -hmm. uh, on that. Like you could ask it, what's. Uh, um, What's the best cleaner for stainless steel cookware? For? Yeah, cleaner. For? Stainless steel. Stainless. stainless. Let's see if stainless? we can do that. Uh, yeah, I, it's it's misspelled, but I want to see if it catches it. Stainless steel. So S S T, yeah, E E L. Let's try that. Yeah. Yeah. My, my my grammar is saying <laughs> correct spelling. Let's see. Yeah, he knows. <laughs> and now I have I, I want to try something here. Ask it why white vinegar and water is a good cleaner. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. So so again you can dig into anything it tells you even even more you can you can it's you know it's like clicking links on a web page you can just go as far down the rabbit hole as 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 possible oh my i i saw in in, in twitter uh, some guy who could say oh create for me a terror movie a, a terror uh, 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 not script is a uh summary or i don't know the name and there is a summary of a movie, a terror movie that with uh, 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 oil, uh, oil uh, digging place, and, and uh, it has something, and then it creates, it creates the character, it creates the the plot, the plot twist, the the all the background of the the background of the main characters, etc. And then he asked, oh. Please uh, uh, describe physically each one uh, the the each one of the characters, and then it describes physically <laughs> the characters, and then he, get, he got that that physical uh, physical uh, uh, descri description and put on the the other Dali two to create yeah. the character, <laughs> right? And then he put in the in the in the same field. Yeah. Say, say, oh God, do you have all this, all the 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 story with all the characters for people who are creating games, people who are creating uh, uh role playing games, right? 
this kind of thing if you make honey you think start thinking you make of me the the way you can mix the tools man it can be yeah. really yeah Fantastic. Yeah, no, it's it, it it can make stuff up. That's that's the interesting thing. <laughs> like you said, you could take that that description and put it into an image generate into the uh, Dolly two and have it yeah. generate images and and uh, that is that's that's pretty epic. Pretty epic, fantastic. Oh well, uh, I think you, we are came came to our time and uh, yep. and so but but this. This opportunity to discuss this new technology here and the way we can use it to to be a better developer, to be uh, better teachers, right? And not not be afraid to AI, but to use it to our best. Right? This is the, the way we we need to look to AI. But let's try to be polite with them, right? Let's try to be polite. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> okay. So you wanted to, 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 to make some final words? And is my ears Douglas? Well, I was gonna say that that I think that, that what we've seen here is is the potential for uh, augmenting extra intelligence for being able to uh, we still need to know what we need to know, but it's going to to help us with writing out the code after we we can all become architects, right? We can mm -hmm. we can say this is what we need. Write me the code to do X Y Z, and uh, mm -hmm. that's going to be extremely powerful. Maybe at some point the AIs can talk to each other, but they I just don't see the motivation yet. And I've I've listened to people who understand the human brain way more than I do talk about what the one, you know, what the couple of things are that are missing in, in mm -hmm. artificial intelligence. And that's, that's the, the uh, affect, which is, you know, the, the need to uh, do these things. Computer doesn't have that motivation right now. Computer is not mm -hmm. completely sentient yet. It doesn't need mm -hmm. to, to protect itself or, or, uh, you know, protect others right now. So mm -hmm. it has no need to do this stuff on its own. It needs inspiration from us to be able to do it. So nothing to be scared of yet. Maybe at some point they become sentient. And uh, hopefully hopefully the people that are writing that code write it correctly. That's all I can say. For sure. Use my ears. Um, I, I think this is amazing. I think uh, uh, where are we going to have in the future a lot of things to improve uh, our, our lives our jobs I, I feel i feel very happy for these kind of things and i learned a lot today thank you to be here that's it okay and thank you for joining thank you and thank you douglas for joining here today this in this live and i have to to have the, all this conversation with you guys and let's see what what the future holds for us yep. yes see you everyone bye y'all bye bye, bye. bye.